This week, we join Jeff Johnston as he spends a few days enjoying and checking out the new Itasca Sole Class A motorhome. Also, we'll catch up with Ivan in Australia as she visits the Lakeside Resort in Forrester, New South Wales. Also, Jeff Johnston shows us how to analyze and fix a battery drain problem. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Class A diesel pusher motorhomes are becoming more refined all the time. They're equipped with the luxuries and amenities most desired by this type of customer. Well, the new Itasca Soleil motorhome from Winnebago Industries is a great example of this new crop of coach. Let's take a closer look. If it's a Class A motorhome you're after, Going with a brand like Atasca by Winnebago is a safe bet. Getting there is a big part of the fun in the Soleil. The dashboard is a familiar arrangement with sensible controls and enough easy to see gauges to monitor all important vehicle functions. An MP3 music player connector and Bluetooth cell phone microphone are part of the built-in electronics. The touchscreen radio includes rear and side view monitors and calls for some owner's manual time to understand its features. The passenger seat includes a flip-up table with a non-skid surface for convenient electronic device use. The coach is built on a Freightliner XCS chassis with a diesel pusher. Back there, we've got a Cummins 340 horsepower ISV engine backed up by an Allison 6-speed transmission. It's a terrific power combination. It moves the rig down the road with ease, and uh, the transmission has plenty of gears to make sure that we always have the best combination of torque and, and horsepower hitting the road. The coach rides on a new way air suspension system with airbags front and back. Airbags keep the ride smooth, take all the harshness out, yet they maintain a degree of control that's really nice. It's not at all mushy, it's, uh, it's a little bit more firm, which you know a lot of drivers kind of prefer, as I do, being uh, feeling like I've got a little more of a grip on the coach. Back roads and narrow bridges are no problem in a big coach for a moderately experienced motorhome driver. Our journey found us at Oregon's Odell Lake and the beautiful Shelter Cove Resort, a popular fishing location with a campground well suited to a full-size Class A. Maneuvering and parking a Class A requires some caution and planning ahead, but with practice and paying attention, it's not difficult. After setting up and plugging into the utility box, strangely located on the wrong side of the campsite. We deployed the slide outs and readied for a fun camping adventure. The full wall curbside slide out moves out about 15 inches. That's not much, but it's enough. Well, that 15 inches of movement on the part of the slide out may not seem like much outside, but inside here where it counts, it makes a significant difference in space. For example, here in the bedroom, you've got a wonderful wide aisle that lets you get access to this huge storage closet. It's about six feet long of hanging wardrobe space. That's a terrific amount of storage for people in a coach like this. And it also gives you access to the bed for making the bed and such. Speaking of the bed, this one is equipped with the optional Ideal Rest air inflated mattress. Each side has an adjustable feature here that allows you to regulate how firm it is. Well, Pam and I slept on this several nights and unfortunately, we tried everything from high to medium to low. We could not find a spot in here that was comfortable for us. Now, that's just us, but we would probably prefer a regular mattress in place of this option. 
Now, another feature in this coach is wonderful drawer glides. These are on full suspension glides that let you get all the way to the back of the drawer. That's a typical Winnebago feature. And the cabinets are finished in coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry. I've got a few coffee glazed cabinets inside the house, but maybe not on purpose. But anyway, up here ahead a little bit for privacy. The bedroom can close off with the sliding pocket door. Operates well and it locks securely for travel, so it's not going to come open. This cabinet with the louvered doors here, just directly behind the refrigerator. Normally, you can select an option that has a stacked washer dryer in here. When you don't have the washer dryer, it's a terrific pantry storage space with adjustable shelves, which is nice. And we personally, we find the pantry space a little more valuable than the washer dryer. We can always do that when we're at a campground someplace. Another advantage to the slide out room is it gives you this wonderful wide aisle. This is more than 36 inches of space and you can actually have two robust full-size people passing in here without any problems. The extra wide aisle also gives you easy access to the bathroom here. The bathroom includes a ceramic toilet, stainless steel sink in a, in a laminate countertop, plenty of storage space, and a full stand-up shower with a glass enclosure that has a really smooth sliding nice operating glass door. We'll continue our tour of the Soleil interior right after these messages from our sponsors, so stay tuned. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. It all starts with pride and ends up being the gold standard in pop-up truck campers. Four-wheel campers. Need we say more? See for yourself by visiting fourwheelcampers.com. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. Let's continue our closer look at the new Itasca Soleil Class A motorhome, a gem of a new RV. This particular coach has an option, which is a full-size residential-style refrigerator. Operates on 120 volts AC, so it only operates when you're plugged in or when you're using the uh, built-in inverter and the inverter batteries. Now over here on this side of the aisle is something, a feature that Winnebago's been using they call the One Place. And it, what it does is it contains in one space a bunch of vehicle control and monitor features, ranging from the slide out room controls down to the power management system, the inverter controls, and uh, the levels check, checks, water pumps, air conditioner controls, and so on. Very convenient to have it all in one place. Over here in the kitchen, which our family cook really enjoyed, by the way, we have a large size convection microwave oven, Whirlpool. It'll handle a pretty good sized bird in there if you fit it in right. Corian countertop with removable panels that cover up the stove so you can, if you're not using the stove, you have all kinds of extra storage space and working space here. Backed up by this grouted in tile, very classy looking backsplash arrangement. And up here, of course, you have the sink. It's covered up by a couple of panels that are removable. Again, you can put the panels in place, and that allows you to have all this working space for preparing meals. Most of our meals are done outside the coach, because we kind of prefer living on the outside and just doing a little bit of prep inside. But if this weather's bad, there's plenty of space inside for meal preparation. Now, one feature about this material, it's Corian. It's nice and classy. It looks good. But it has an interesting sort of a... a pattern or texture, or not texture, but a, a pattern to the surface that makes it look like it's always dirty. And this is something that several people have observed besides us, so it's not just us. 
we would probably, if we had a choice, select a different type of Corian for our counter. Now directly opposite the kitchen here is a storage hutch that also includes down below a garage for the inn table. Now that's simply a table that rolls out of here, parks in front of the inn lounge U-shaped dinette. And that table can set up with wings on both sides to make it into a good sized table operation that gives you plenty of working space or meal or fun or cards or whatever you're going to do. And the inn lounge itself is pretty darn impressive, so we'll go take a look at it. Now the inn lounge feature is a standard feature on the Model 34 coach. The Model 38 has a smaller four-person dinette. This feature, as you can see, is a gigantic U-shaped sofa. And by extending the ends with the, this mechanism, allows the ends to slide out, and you move the cushions, insert the, the, the removable piece, and you have a gigantic U-shaped sofa and lounge that has plenty of seating space for a lot of people. In this area, you have the usual features you find that are convenient. Uh, reading lamps overhead. And there's also very large, deep storage compartments. And storage, of course, is always at a premium inside of a coach like this. Now, Winnebago claims that this uh, in, in lounge sofa unit will be able to accommodate six people comfortably to eat and maybe eight people for a having fun, you know, environment. Well, we put that to the test to find out and sure enough, eight people fit just fine. We invited over a few friends for a strawberry shortcake social and parked everyone in the inn lounge. The Soleil Galley provided more than enough working room for our cook's preparations. Enjoying the company of friends is one of the best things you can do in an RV. So here's to rolling on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Thank you, rolling on TV. Right. Cheers. <laughs> we'll do that again. Cheers to cheers. <laughs> Back outside, we found the roomy storage bays handle a huge volume of personal cargo. Door and campsite power awnings provide extra cover when the weather gets bad. We set up our humble campsite and prepped a meal over the fire. Rotisserie chicken on the ouse pit and corn on the grill. There's a good dinner ahead. Well, both the passenger and driver seats turn around so that you have extra seating for people to enjoy the socializing and the rest of the coach. When the evening is late, your campfire is burned down, you're settled inside for the evening. Of course, uh, you reach over, turn on your fireplace. There's a little heater in here that cranks out some warmth to keep your toes warm as well. And then, uh, kick up your leg rest, lay back your recliner, and you're ready to enjoy an evening in comfort. And this is one of the fun things about RVs. For more information about the Itasca Soleil Motorhome, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. <laughs>